Today we'll look at Tesla. Um, we'll quickly look at a chart here. As you can see here, Tesla stock is going up. It's above um, the typical moving averages, the 200, the 125. And relative strength index is showing it's pretty uh, solid. It's pretty strong. Not over um, oversold yet, or not overbought yet. So it's somewhere here which is at 57% uh, mark, which is a good sign. And implied volatility, uh, volatility is actually coming down, as you can see here, which is a good sign if you are a buyer of an auction. And if you look at the on balance volume is going up, which is again a good sign. People are buying into Apple stock. And lot, last but not least, the Chaplin money flow is actually going up a little bit which is a good sign people are really pouring money into apple sorry tesla with that let's look at our strategy for tesla so what we'll do is we'll buy a long call option so we are 100, 106 days out gives us plenty of room uh, to hold the apple uh, sorry tesla um, call spread so for this call spread let's go all the way to um, around the around 420 range um, so we'll do 420 right here and we'll do a maybe a $60 spread here 420 we'll buy 460 we'll sell so the reason we do it is really if you want to just buy um, Tesla 420 uh, call option, you have to basically pay um, $85 as you can see here. Um, but we don't want to pay that much money. Instead, we'll do a spread. Uh, we'll buy 420 and we'll sell 460. Um, and with this, you know, we are basically participating in a $40 spread here. Um, and for that we are paying a $16.43 and we can also do one thing instead of uh, just 40 we can increase it a little bit we'll make it uh, um, 480 so that way it's uh, you know good um, $60 spread so $22 we are paying for this go confirm done so what we'll also do is um, We'll go into 50 days out um, and we'll sell a credit, put credit spread just to make sure we get some money into the mix, um, get some credit, credit. So for our put spread, what we'll do is we'll go uh, all the way to um, 30 uh, delta, as you can see here, 390, and we'll sell a put spread, well, maybe $60 out again. Now let's see. Um, around 20 delta will you know will buy back so 20 delta delta will put us around 450 or 4 uh, let's go to 440 so 440 sorry 340 oops uh, let's go back to um, 30 delta yeah 30 delta is 390 yeah, that's that's good so vertical 390 and we'll go all the way back to 350 like we saw earlier which is uh, 20 delta all right so for this we are collecting $14.15 that's good so let's go with this so what we have done is we we sold in number 20 number uh, put credit spread and we collected some money for that and we bought a longer term call spread which is 106 days out let's go back to 20th number right now um, and see how is our uh, position doing all right so it's buffering let's give it a minute done so if you look at 20th number, our put spread that we uh, sold, it um, made $1,000. $1, so let's go ahead and close it. It's uh, today's expiration date here. 
and we'll sell it for maybe five cents just to close it out. Uh, let's see. Um, Yeah, let's increase it. Uh, it's taking a while to close. And cents. Okay, in the meantime, uh, we also have this uh, call spread uh, that we uh, sold. As you can see here, our call spread is uh, doing pretty well. Um, actually, I have to sell this, this one here. Let's close this out for uh, 5 cents. done and now let's look at our call spread here our call spread is also doing very well uh, it's got uh, 56 days to go so what we'll do is uh, we'll sell one more put credit spread uh, to get some money in so for that we'll look into uh, let's see here um, 41 days out is good so let's do the same uh, trick here let's go to 30 delta and uh, 31 is good let's uh, go sell a put credit spread uh, 455 let's go 400 so that way it's a good uh, 55 dollars spread we're collecting 16 dollars 95 cents confirm and let's see if this fills um, Yeah, actually let's uh, cancel this again and do once again um, we want to sell um, a put credit spread there you go uh, let's go all the way back to 400 all right so we're collecting sixteen dollars and ninety cents yep all right so that's that's filled so now what we'll do is we'll go to um, December and see how our uh, stocks uh, our options are doing go all the way back to December And let's uh, read buffer a little bit And in the mean meantime if we go to chart here as we can see here we're already uh, in um, December right now stocks seem to be doing pretty good as you can see here Tesla is uh, slowly but surely going up um, and uh, You know all the te technical indicators are also showing positive as you can see here on the balance um, Volume is going up Implied volatility is still staying a little lower um, And chattel money flow is also positive with that. Let's go back here so the put spread that we sold uh, is profitable, $1,600. We can go close that out. And we'll uh, try to see if we can get a fill here. And the call spread that we bought, it, it made a good $3,500. Let's go close that out too. All right, that got sold out. And this put spread here, let's uh, uh, increase the amount we'll buy back at 15 cents all right so that's also done so in a nutshell uh, tesla stock is you know just won't quit so to take advantage of this we we want to basically sell a long call spread hoping stock you know stock price will go up and also uh, we will sell put spread shorter term put uh, spreads and you know get some money in and take advantage of uh, theta decay and uh, you know do some income play there so hope this helps uh, thank you very much bye